Hey, if you ever want to annoy hardcore computer nerds, just tell them that mechanical keyboards are a marketing ploy. Membrane keyboards, they're just as fast. So something you may not know if you watch some of our other content is I'm actually a really, really big PC enthusiast. I've been a lifelong member of the PC Master Race, but I'm not what I would call a zealot. I'm more of like a practical PC purist. I've never really been interested in what I feel are unnecessarily expensive and flashy accessories. The keyboard that I have is both basic and old by modern standards because the idea of upgrading to the new hotness of RGB, backlit, programmable, mechanical, LED keyboards, it just doesn't make any sense from just a cost versus benefit perspective. My $6 ultra basic keyboard works just fine. So the idea of dropping more than 20 times as much for a product that is functionally identical, it just seems crazy to me. Now, would I love to have a brand new top tier Razer Huntsman Elite or a Corsair K95 or even a DOS? Yeah, of course I would, but I got responsibilities and so mechanical keyboards have stayed just out of reach for years. But technology does eventually get cheaper. So when Aki reached out to us to take a look at the KM G6, I jumped at the chance to get a hold of a full size 104 key mechanical RGB backlit keyboard that retails for under 50 US dollars. When thinking about PC accessories like keyboards, Aki is probably not the first name that you would think of. If you've heard of the company, it's probably via Amazon and their line of mobile accessories like USB charging stations or portable batteries. But if you look hard enough, you will eventually find the KMG6 for just $39.99 US. The keyboard itself comes in a plain box that contains the keyboard with its non-removable 5-foot USB cable, a keycap puller, the warranty card, and the instruction guide, which, trust me on this one, you're gonna to wanna to hold on to for later reference. The first thing you'll notice is how freaking heavy this thing is with its steel and plastic construction weighing in at about 1100 grams or 2.4 pounds. It's a beast. The entire thing is water resistant, so a little bit of spillage isn't going to hurt. And the 104 keys on this keyboard are made of smooth molded ABS plastic. Now, the actual switches under the keycaps are clear Otomo blue switches, which are comparable to more recognizable brands like the Cherry MX Blues. Clear switches allow the RGB LEDs to shine through, which is where I first understood why this keyboard is so cheap compared to its top shelf competitors. The LEDs under the keys are only a single color, which means your number row is always gonna be purple and your home row is always gonna be orange. That's disappointing, but not exactly a deal breaker for me. It's just something that I wish they made a little more explicitly clear in the product description and on the packaging itself. Now typing on this keyboard feels fantastic and it's immediately very distinct from typing on the regular mushy feeling membrane keyboard. The Otomo switches are pretty loud. Be aware of that before you bring it into an office environment because I don't want to be responsible for an angry mob beating you to death with your brand new keyboard because you type 100 words a minute for hours at a time. Now the rest of the features are baked right into the firmware which is where having the user guide easily accessible comes in handy. There are a surprising number of keyboard shortcuts built in using the function key for everything from media controls like play, stop, volume up, and down, to specific shortcuts for opening the calculator and my computer on Windows. Then there are the 19 different controls for the RGB backlights. You can toggle between nine different preset lighting modes. You can adjust the brightness of the LEDs and the speed of the animations. There are some generic predefined lighting modes that highlight keys commonly used in video games. For example, function plus one will give you the FPS lighting mode, which highlights WASD and the arrow keys. And function plus five is the LOL lighting effect, which I assume is League of Legends, but they don't ever really make that clear. And if the presets don't cut it, you can always create your own lighting effect and save it to one of the two custom slots. Now, as far as bells and whistles go, that's pretty much it. It's a fairly basic setup as far as what you can do with the lights. So for basically 40 bucks US, you get this uh, pretty nice mechanical keyboard that's a little on the loud side, uh, but it does feature RGB backlights again, and it's at least semi-programmable. On the downside, those RGB lights are 
static. You'll never be able to change them. The colors that you see are the colors that you get and that's it. There's no kind of color changing motif. You get some basic animations that aren't customizable. You do get two user customizable slots for saving these predefined lighting modes, but those lights are either on or off. There's no animations that you can apply to that. And also the macros that are built into the keyboard for opening things like my computer, those aren't customizable either. So there's no setting a macro to start whatever video game that you wanna play or application that you wanna start, which compared to other keyboards that do have those things makes this thing feel very, very basic. However, that's the trade-off, you get a basic but functional keyboard, you're just missing some of the additional features present on some of the higher end keyboards. But I think the real question here is whether or not this is something that I would recommend. Is this good enough to replace my existing keyboard? Uh, yeah. I'll probably make that switch. All right, that's gonna do it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out this video. And hey, I mean, if you're looking for some, you know, holiday gift ideas for one of those friends that's into computers, but still is typing on all those mushy membrane keyboards, check out the Amazon link down in the description below where uh, you'll be able to pick up this keyboard. Of course, this is an Amazon affiliate link, so uh, it's a great way to help support the channel. We do get a small kickback from that, and anybody who does so, uh, heart hands, we love you very much. All right, that's it. We'll see you all next time.